then that's kind of interesting. Uh, speaking of other conference meets, dude, like, I think Connor Mance's cross country win is one of the most impressive wins ever. And the reason ah. why nah, I hear is because I hear you see <laughs> the man that he beat and what he's capable of. It just it makes it just makes Connor's win even more incredible. I'm talking about Wesley Kip too at the Big Twelve Championships. He didn't just win the 10k, the 3k steeple, and the 5k like conference wins. You think, all right, sit and kick. You close in the fast 400. No, he ran. <laughs> he started at the 10k. He runs 2022. Mm. There's no reason for him to run 2022. Yeah. That was his first race, and that was it was a late night race too. I think. I think, oh, no, maybe mm-hmm. Steeple was late. But he runs 28-22. Then the next day, he runs 8-31. And then he runs 13-29. All of these, he didn't even run fast in any of these. He wins by like 10-plus yeah. seconds at every event. What are your thoughts on that triple? Is that the greatest triple you've ever seen? 28-22, yeah. 8-31, 13-29? It has to be, right? I remember some back in back in the day, Robert Chesret of Arizona would go to Pac-12 and do a 15-5-10 triple. And he was beating Rupp, if I'm remembering correctly, to, to win those fives and the tens. And it was just one of those things where if you were at the meet, every it seemed like every half hour you looked up, he was running something, either a prelim or a final. The way they had these races set, right, all these were straight finals. So, so you had one final on each one of the three days. It makes me think that the sport, as it's currently constructed, is not set up for Wesley Kiptu. Wesley Kiptu needs track to be designed like a Tour de France. Wesley Kiptu <laughs> needs a 20-day stage race where he's just going every single day. Now, even still, he's going even hard by that standard because in the Tour de France, there's some times when they sit back with the pack and, and let other people do the work. The 5K is really what sets it over the edge for me because it's the last event here, and th- he runs 13.29. <laughs> In this race, thirteen twenty nine, I get it. Five K is crazy this year. Five K is super fast, but that's just like an insane mark to put by, you know, to run by yourself. Um, what was the gap? Let's look at the march. That- yeah, let's, let's start yeah. the ten K. What was the ten K gap? Let's throw up the ten K results, Travis. Ten K was from that. Yeah, that that first day. Yeah, so ten K gap. Beats he his wins teammate. by. He didn't feel bad. It's, yeah. it's just like I'm bringing up the results of my own screen because I can't I can't read our our thing. But the the 10k he wins in like 20 plus 25 plus seconds, and there's no need for him to do that because Edwin Kerr I would say went second. one. Yeah, I would say went one two three four. So it's not like they would lose any points. He goes out in 62 in the 400, and the rest of his teammates are going out in 72. He has a 10 yeah, second yeah. lead. After 400 meters of a 25 lap race, that makes no sense. But it's well, Wesley Kip too. <laughs> it's like insane. His his teammate, his teammate, incidentally champion Edwin Kurgot, who can push the pace too, is all saying, "Man, that's too much. Like you're overdoing it, even by my standard." Then he runs the steeple. This is a steeple debut, correct? No, he ran steeples in JUCO, but he what they weren't fast steeples. Okay. So he he's jumped over a berry before, but not at this speed and pace. Okay, is he a steepler now? Because he he wins by fourteen seconds. Because look, I don't want him to I don't want him to be pushed out of the five k. But it makes me nervous when he runs the steeple. Or was he doing this just for points? I think they're doing it for points, but I could see him trying to triple at NCAA's. I think Iowa State might be like. Hey, Kip two. Let's let's see. If it, it, like, I think he could get more. Po- he, if he can do this three day of in three days, he can run this fast of times. He easily can mm-hmm. run a a ten k, a, a steeple prelim, then a ten k, yeah. then a steeple final, and then a five k. I think he might triple at NCAA's. He won't win any of them, but he'll at least win the steeple, right? They'll guarantee the win in the steeple. That's 10. And then he could get top five in the other two events. That gets you more yeah. than winning a double. Like, if you can get over 20 points combined, then it'll have been worth it. 
He won the 5K by 14 seconds on the last <laughs> the last day. He was ahead by the – at 1K, he was ahead by 10 seconds over this the eventual stupid. second place. Oh, 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 sorry. He wasn't ahead by 10 seconds. He was ahead of, of Brian Shoppy, the eventual second place runner by 10 seconds at 1K. But he had some – Isai Rodriguez was with – Isai Rodriguez – tried to hold on and then eventually fell off and ended up running 13.52. I don't know why anybody tries to, other than Mance, like, yeah, like, Kip 2 should come with a warning label before each race <laughs> because if you decide to run with him, it's not going to end well and it's going to cause massive addition to your time unless you're Connor Mance, basically. Yeah, to, to, uh, I opened a segment talking about Connor Mance, uh, but, like, Mance's win over Kip 2 is incredible yeah. i just especially in the cross country realm uh and now kip uh connor mance he did run a, a fast 10k he ran 2741 yeah. which is the nca lead right now over the two nau guys and the two iowa state guys but we're underestimating connor mance because he just beat a guy who put together the greatest triple a few months later um mance is gonna be a sneaky pick at the trials, I think, right? You you gotta mm -hmm. look at him as a favorite potential in the 10K now. Uh yeah. he'll be in the mix in the five at NCAAs, but as you know, NCA five K is insane. Uh but now what do you think <laughs> on Connor Mance's resume now going into the Olympic trials, having a twenty seven forty uh PB, having a win over a, a man who's who does this incredible triple? What are your thoughts on Connor Mance? Yeah, I think – yeah, I mean, I, I think he's looking good for for the 10,000. I mean, he doesn't have the standard, correct? So that's going to be a problem for the trials. I don't know the world rankings situation with him. I, I feel like just go in and compete, you're right, for the trials. I know it's cliche, but just, like, go run it. We don't think the race is going to go that fast. But even if you don't get the standard, you come up short on the team, but you're, you're able to – Mix it up with those top guys. I think it's a win for man. I mean, where he's coming back next year to to college, we, we believe. Anyway, I don't. It's just funny because each week with this group of five k guys that you've laid out for us all, it's like someone does something ridiculous every single week, but they do it in a different way. So like Mance does this great ten k, but then <laughs> Kip Two does this insane, insane triple, and we saw. I guess Cooper here ran pretty well too at at yeah, Pac twelves. So it's like everybody's like getting all these victories. They're just adding more and more stuff to their resume, uh, and no one's really falling off because Kip two was the guy you had at the bottom of that list because of, of his closing <laughs> speed. But now it's you have you be like, oh, am I going to ignore a guy who tripled at Big twelves and ran thirteen thirteen twenty nine? We meet records end? in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't. I just it, – it's hard to discount any of these guys. And I'm not saying that just to be nice. I'm saying that because that's the reality of how good they're all running right now. The per, the person you give the least credit to is the person who just doesn't run that week because they slip a little bit farther back in your mind. But every single other person creates a headline in some form or fashion. Mance almost got the school record, right? And I still – his coach still has it by a fraction of a, a second. But it's still – a crazy time. I mean, Kipchoe does this and Tier does that. Oh, speaking of Pac-12.